Hello everyone, I'm Isan. In this video, we'll explore the newest features introduced in One UI 6.1.1 update. Some of these features were initially exclusive to Z Fold 6 and Z Flip 6 series. But now, they have finally made their way to S24 Ultra series and also to S23 Ultra and S22 Ultra series. This update brings the new Galaxy AI feature along with other exciting enhancements which we'll explore together in this video. Here even though the One UI version says 6.1, however, for the features in this update, all of them are One UI 6.1.1 features, which were previously only available on Z Fold 6 and Z Flip 6. Alright, let's dive in and take a look at the latest features in this update. The first new feature allows you to turn scribbles into attractive image. After the update, you'll notice two new options available in the edge panel right away. And here the top shortcut is the shortcut for sketch to image feature. If the icon still doesn't appear, you can go to the edge panel settings. In the settings, you'll find two new options that you can activate to display sketch to image and smart select features in the edge panel. Then you can directly select the sketch to image feature from the edge panel. Then in this section, you can directly draw the sketch you want to create. There are five categories of image to choose from in this feature. You can immediately try these categories one by one to get the image you want. Then here after finding the image style you like, you can directly download the photo by clicking the down arrow icon. You can also share the photo directly to other applications from here. Additionally, there is a transparency settings that lets you adjust the opacity in the sketch to image feature. Then there's also an option to copy the image for you to paste into another application. Here you can easily copy the photos from sketch to image and paste them directly into Samsung Notes application. You can also minimize the sketch to image feature to display it in a smaller window view. Then besides accessing the sketch to image feature via the edge panel, you can also directly access the sketch to image feature from the Samsung Notes application. All you have to do is open the Samsung Notes application and create a new note. Next, you can draw a sketch on Samsung Notes application, then select the Galaxy AI icon and select sketch to image. Then you can immediately circle the image and you can select the category of image you want to create. And then click the generate button to create the image. Once you find an image you like, you can click the replace button to insert it into the Samsung Notes application. And then next you can also create contact photos with a more attractive appearance with the latest AI features. You can immediately edit your contacts then at the top you can easily select create profile card. And then choose a photo for your contact then tap the portrait studio feature at the bottom. Then you can apply various effects to the photo such as comic, 3D cartoon, watercolor, or sketch effect. Once you've found the look you want, you can click the done button. And then you can also directly change the name displayed on the contact card. Here you can customize the font, adjust the letter size, and change the text color. Additionally, you can apply various effects to the background display. Here there are several effects available for you to choose from. And here you can also preview the contact display. Here you can preview how it looks on the tablet or fold series, as well as on the standard display. The next feature is the latest upgraded version of Smart Select. In this version, when you press the Smart Select feature, you'll notice a cool animation that appears along the edge of your smartphone. The Smart Select feature now also comes with the latest AI feature. So here there are several new options that you can choose directly with the latest Smart Select feature. You can quickly add the selected photos to notes. You also have options to copy, share, or download the photo. Additionally, if you select this section with text, the Smart Select feature can also automatically detect it. This update allows you to use Smart Select to copy the text directly from the image. Then on the far right, in addition to pinning the Smart Select display, you can also use the Sketch to Image feature. With this feature, you can draw any sketch and AI will generate an image based on your drawing. So the latest Smart Select feature has now been added with the latest AI features to maximize some of its functions. Then in this latest update, there is also a new Composer feature. You can use this Composer feature to generate text automatically by simply providing a prompt for what you want to write. To use this feature, you can type anywhere on the screen using the Samsung keyboard and then click the Galaxy AI icon at the top left of the keyboard. Then in this section, you will find new Composer feature. And here you can enter your prompt at the top. For the categories, there are several options available including email, social media, comments, or standard. You can select one and then click the generate button to create your text. And then you will receive the generated text based on the prompt you provided. To see longer text, you can click the option on the top right and select details. 
This feature will also be very useful for generating captions for your social media photos. You can just write a prompt related to the photo and the Galaxy AI will automatically generate the caption for you. You can also choose the tone of the writing whether you want professional, casual, or polite. Then you can click the generate button to receive the text based on your specified prompt. Then another interesting feature is the ability to generate a summary of a PDF file. If you have a PDF file with a lot of data and want to study it more easily, you can use this feature to create a summary. To use this feature, you can open the Samsung Notes application and click the PDF icon in the top right and select your PDF file. Once it's open, tap the Galaxy AI icon at the bottom and select the summarize feature. Next, all you have to do is select the part you want to summarize and select generate summary. And then here you can get the summary of the PDF file. Here you can choose between a standard summary or a detailed one for more in-depth information. Then there's also a feature to transcribe voice into text in the Samsung Notes application. To use this feature, you just have to open the Samsung Notes application, create a new note, then tap the plus sign at the top right and select voice recording. Next, the voice recording process will immediately begin. Then the voice recording results can be directly transcribed into other language. Then in the latest update, you can also add live effects to photos in the gallery to get a very interesting parallax effect. To add this live effect, all you have to do is select a photo with person in the gallery. Then you can swipe up on the photo and select live effect. And then after a few moments, the photo will be immediately converted into a very interesting live effect. You can share this live effect or save it directly to your smartphone gallery. This effect isn't limited to portrait photos only. You can also apply it to regular photos, as long as the subject is clearly distinguishable between the foreground and background. And then in this latest update, after generating an instant slow motion video by pressing and holding on the video in the gallery, a download shortcut will appear at the top left of the video, allowing you to save it directly. This new feature makes it easier to create slow motion videos and save them in your gallery. Next, when you open the video in picture-in-picture -picture mode in this latest version, now you can also directly open the picture-in-picture -picture display in split-screen view mode. To do this, just press and hold on the picture-in-picture -picture display and slide the display to the top or bottom. And then the application will immediately open in split-screen view mode. And here in the latest picture-in-picture -picture at the top right of the display, there is also a shortcut to open the picture-in-picture -picture display in the split-screen view. Then in phone call section, you can also access several new options. When you open a phone call, you can immediately select the options in the three dots at the top right, then select settings. Then you can select answering and ending calls option. Here at the top, you can find a new option you can activate. You can now change the gesture to answer calls to tap, and you'll be able to pick up calls with a single tap. Then at the bottom, there's also a new feature that will activate the speaker by default when you answer a call on your phone. Of course, this feature will only be active if you don't use earphones. For those of you who often pick up the phone in speaker mode, you can easily activate this new feature, so you won't have to adjust the speaker mode settings for each call. Then in this latest update in the security and privacy options, you can activate the enhanced autoblocker feature for increased security. In this update, after activating the autoblocker feature, you can also activate maximum restriction. Activating this feature blocks various threats on your phone, making it safer and harder for viruses and malware to penetrate. This feature can also block certain access on your phone, including hyperlinks and previews, and also disables auto-download for attachment. It also ensures that the location data in photos and videos is automatically deleted before sharing. So now you can enhance your phone security with this new maximum restrictions option. I hope you find this video helpful. See you in the next one.